to help someone prepare for addiction program, you have to work with them at least six months. Because in that six months, they're, they're dealing with some very painful issues. It's like all these realizations come in to play and you think, well, where, where was my family when I was a child? When all these abuses were happening, where, where was my mother? Why did this happen? I'm Bonnie Fournier. Uh, these kids are products. They re survivors are a product of parents who were in residential schools, parents whose children were taken from them and put in foster care, who were denied their family, family circle, their family values. I did have a relationship with my sister Mona. I remember her being a baby. Yes, I think she was about nine or eight months up to a year, I guess. Um, I had a little bit of a relationship with her, with here and there. Back then she was apprehended to the, to the system because they didn't want to work with my mom. And therefore that, then everything just fell apart. My mom gave up because of uh, the negative issues. The system that had worked against her majorly failed her. They didn't want to work with her because she was an unfit mother to society and her kids got apprehended. For her to try to keep her family together it was very hard for her because of the residential school trauma that she had to live through. And I just feel sad and I always do for my mom's generation because they pretty well had to put their head in the sand and pretend that there was no pain around them. And I can't imagine that.